in this video we'll demonstrate what happens if you run a regression model in one set of units but then change the units of the data we observe so we keep exactly the same data but change the units of the data we're using a uh, very simple weight and height example we're having 12 observations 12 people for each of them we have their weight measured originally in pounds or abbreviated by LBS and we also have their height measured in inches um, so um, old colonial measure so let's quickly run a regression here uh, we go to the data tab data analysis regression uh, input range it's all well, I'll do it again it's already in there that's the explanatory variable that's the X range and I'll put in F1. Okay, we run that. And here's our regression result. All right, so we have an intercept and a slope coefficient for this relationship. So it's before we, and what we will now want to do, actually, let's uh, uh, do that right for starters. We want to not use height in inches, but we want to use height in centimeters. Okay, um, so let's firstly actually calculate uh, the data. I'll do it in the new table, just to illustrate it, uh, sorry, more clearly. Um, you, we could also just add a column of data here, height measured in inches. So we have weight unchanged, but now height, we take the original height and multiply by 2.54 because in each inch there's approximately 2.54 centimeters so you can see that first person is 177.8 centimeters and then we copy this down so this translates all of these heights in inches into heights in centimeters and now we can <clears throat> rerun the regression model with these data but before we actually do that let's think about what we expect if we if we do this so we'll we'll go here so we have estimated this regression model okay and um well so we estimate the model where we have weight as the dependent variable measured in pounds and height as the explanatory measured in inches um so let's use a different color what we now want to do is we want to leave the explained variable unchanged still in pounds so in square brackets here are the units now i need to use different uh, coefficients because our regression changes so i use gamma plus delta times height but now this measured in centimeters and we have a new error term as well let's call that vi so what do we expect if you want to figure out what you want to expect, what we really want to do is we want to translate the explanatory variable here into one which looks like this one, height in inches. So what do I mean here? Well, we know that height in centimeter is the same as 2.54 decimal point times the height in inches okay so we haven't really changed anything we've just said that um, this bit here and this bit here these are equal okay so we haven't changed anything so what you now see is that really what you should get here is now just turn these two points around these two factors around 2.54 times delta times the height in inches so now you should see that really plus an error term what we now have is that we really have the same regression relationship here same explained variable on the left hand side and same explanatory variable on the right hand side so that means that the coefficients should be the same Alpha should be the same as gamma. So from this we learn that 
alpha should be equal to gamma and that that beta coefficient should be the same as this so we also learned that beta should be equal to 2.54 times delta okay so <clears throat> that means we can either express that as this or we can write delta is equal to beta over 2.54 so we should expect that when we estimate this model here that with height a centimeters that the delta which we get should really be 2.5 should really be similar to that estimated beta which we get from this regression relationship but divided by 2.54 okay, so it should be significantly smaller but with this relationship so let's see whether we actually get that when we estimate the regression so let's go back to the spreadsheet here's our new relationship so we'll, we'll fire up our regression function again now the input range is now this one which is actually exactly the same as before the x range is going to be height in oh, in centimeters i'll change that in a moment and we'll put the output uh, somewhere here okay okay so before we look at that i should change that that is not inches this is now centimeters okay so let's see what we get so let's look at the intercept which we said we would expect the same intercept really and indeed we have the same intercept now what about the slope coefficient that's oh, sorry not that intercept i wanted to still have green okay what about the slope coefficient that was our original slope coefficient still a blue and here is our new slope coefficient and let's see whether so indeed that new one is smaller so what did we expect we expected it to be that value the original beta divided by 2.54 and you see that is exactly what we get okay so that is um, uh, hat b from the first divided by 2.54 get 1.266 it's exactly this so what we learned from this we actually didn't have to re-estimate the model if you're just interested in the slope parameter if you know that you change the explanatory variable by multiplying by 2.54 then you know that the slope coefficient the new one will be divided by 2.54 just exactly as we have outlined it here